Hi, welcome back to Android and iOS apps for your WordPress blog. So now it's time to get started with the UI of our menu. So head over to menu.html and in menu.html we'll start by writing some HTML Ionic code. So what we are trying to do? Well, we are trying to create something like this. So we have our menu on the left and inside menu.html we will try and replicate this menu on the side. Okay, so how do we create this kind of menu in Ionic? Well, it's fairly easy. So if you scroll down, you'll find the perfect documentation that we are looking for. Okay, so it tells me how we can use this Ionic code in our application. So you can see that we have some HTML code right here. So the root tag is ion side menus. Okay, and it closes right here. And inside ion side menus, I have an ion side menu on the left and I have an ion side menu on the right. In between these two left and right menus, I have the menu content. Okay, so this is basically the main content that will appear on the screen while these two are the menus on the sides. So in menu.html, we'll be creating a left menu. Okay, and in menu content.html, we'll be creating the main content. Okay, so let's get started. Let's over to menu.html and start typing. So the first line of code that I'll use is ion side menus. Okay, and I'll just close it right here. Sometimes you may forget to place the closing tags. So it's a good practice to place the closing tag as soon as you open any tag. And inside ion side menus, We'll start by creating our ion side menu on the left. Okay, so the tag is ion side menu and we have to provide an attribute of side which is left. Following the good practices again, we'll just close the tag right here. And inside this ion side menu, what I want, I want a header on the top. So I'll just put an ion header bar. Okay, and I'll give it a class of bar stable. So this will give me a nice bar on the top. And I'll just close the tag again. So the tag has been closed. And within this tag, I'll just put an h1 tag and it will have a class of title. So the text will be white in color because I have assigned it a class of title and it will contain the text categories. Okay. And next I'll just close the h1 tag. Perfect. Now after the header bar will be our main content of the menu. So what will be our main content? So let's put an ion content first and let's close the ion content as well. And inside this ion content, let's just write something for now so that we can just go ahead and test out our application. So let's save the code this far and head over to your console or your command prompt or the git bash shell if you are just like me and head over to the correct directory. So I'll just head over to Udemy and inside Udemy I have WordPress Ionic and I'll just do an Ionic serve dash dash L and wait for my browser to pop up along with the application. The greatest thing about Ionic is the documentation. So if you are stuck somewhere just go ahead to ionic.io or ionicframework.com and you'll pretty much find everything you are looking for. So here we are. You can see that I have a header on the top and I have a text of Samarth Agrawal below it but this is not in the menu. So let's go ahead and make the respective changes that we are looking for. So before we start our ion side menu tag, we'll add a few more tags and that will be ion side menu content. We'll just also close this tag and inside this, I'll put an ion nav view. So we are putting an ion nav view here, just like we did in index.html because we want to load custom templates inside this tag. And let's head back to our application and check it out. So you can see that now I can swipe left and swipe right. You can see that our content is pretty much blank. We do not have any content right here. If I swipe to the right, you can see that my menu shows up. Okay, now let's head back to the application and create the ion content. So what I want in the content? Well, content is the list of categories that we'll be displaying in our side menu. So how do we create a list in Ionic? Well, that's pretty simple. 
we'll just have to use the ion list tag okay and close the ion list tag as well and in ion list we'll have an ion item and this ion item will be repeated for each of the item in the list so we'll use angular for that and the menu close attribute tells us that whenever somebody clicks on any item in the menu the menu should close okay and next we'll have an ng repeat i'll just explain this in a while so let's leave it here we'll have an href we'll leave that for now as well and we'll just close this let's close the ion item as well and inside the ion item we are going to have a span okay and this span will contain the name of the category or you can just type in category name we'll change that later on but for now we'll just use the filler content so this will be a span and along with this span we'll show the number of posts in that particular category on the right side so we'll just type in span so we'll use another span and the class will be badge so this is an ionic class we'll just have to use it and i want a red badge so i'll use badge assertive okay i'll close the tag and i'll just type in a random number here and i'll close the span okay so this is pretty much it let's save this and head back to our application and see how it is looking okay so nothing is appearing as of now so this is because we have used an ng repeat let's just remove the ng repeat okay and now let's save our application and head back and you can see that now we have a category name on the left and a badge with a random number 12 on the right so this is how we'll create our menu we'll just repeat the items just like this and create a single column with a number of rows in this menu we'll use an ng repeat to get the content and create a new ion item for each of the category so how are we going to do it we'll see in the next video